Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Stainton. I'm a teacher, a visual arts teacher with the Arts Council of Monterey County. Okay, um, I'm here to teach you a few things about art today. Um, how many of you like to draw? Raise your hand. Oh, I see lots of hands. Wow. Yeah, I think, I think everybody likes to draw. Almost everybody, anyway. So, yeah, today what I thought would be fun to do is uh, drawing Mickey Mouse. So, all you guys have probably heard about Mickey Mouse, right? Yeah, you like Disney? Yeah, everybody loves Disney. I love Mickey Mouse. So, today I'm going to show you some easy ways to draw Mickey Mouse using some interesting lines. There are um, lines called guidelines and sketch lines. So this may be a different way to draw them than you've ever drawn before. Let me get my picture. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we are. So here's the picture that we're going to draw. All right. So this one here is Mickey Mouse with a few guidelines. This line here is a guideline and this line here is a guideline. And um, maybe you see some basic shapes in there. A lot of things that we learn to draw have basic shapes like circles and ovals. Can you find any circles in this Mickey Mouse? Where do you see the circles? Yeah, you probably see one big circle in his face, right? Like here, which is great. And then where there's two other big circles. Where are they? Yeah, you're right. You guessed it, the ears. There's one here. There's one here. <gasps> Whoa. Now, do you guys know about ovals? They're kind of like stretched out circles. So where do you see some ovals? Okay, let's look. Here's the nose. Look at that. That looks like an oval. And then, hmm, maybe his eyes. Did you guess these eyes? Yeah. See, look at these ovals here. Then they're intersecting. Means they cross over each other. Okay. So we're going to learn to draw this step by step and I'm going to show you how and my animals, I have two dogs and a cat and they're going to help you too because they're going to draw these things too. They'll show you how. Okay, I'm going to switch to an overhead view. And then we will start drawing. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi, we're back. We're back with the overhead view this time so that we can see what's being drawn more easily. Okay, so this is the original picture that we're gonna draw. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna tilt this a little bit so that it's easier for me to draw. And what you need for supplies, um, just a piece of white paper, any papers fine just a pencil like that yeah and uh, a good eraser so um, the erasers that we have on the end of the pencils are okay but they're not great we're gonna do a fair amount of erasing in this drawing so I want to have a good eraser this time so okay so those are the supplies so once you have your paper, pencil, and eraser. Find a flat surface to put your paper on. 
right here I have a thick piece of paper underneath it. You can just put it directly on the table if you want. Okay, so to start up with, we talked about guidelines, and guidelines are lines that help us position the location of objects that we want to draw. So for instance, this line here is a guideline, and then this one here is a curved type of guideline, and that's fine too. So right now, what I want to do, I want to draw this same picture. So I'm going to draw guidelines that are slightly tilted on the diagonal like that. I'm going to draw that on my paper. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to draw one big line going down this way. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put a little more light on it. There we go. And then I want to draw another line going the opposite way. So I'm going to draw a cross like this. Okay, there you go. Can you see the cross? So here we have this line here. One going that way, and one going that way. Okay, great. So where we're, um, we're going to put Mickey is right about here on those lines. So first of all, we said that Mickey had a nice big circle of a face. So his face circle is like that. And what I'm going to do to start drawing a circle is what you call sketch lines, which are, are many light, lightly um, drawn sketch lines in the shape of a circle. They, um, the lines go on top of each other. So let me show you how I do that. So to draw his face, I'm gonna start the top here. So already I'm kind of sketching lightly, see? So I don't know how to draw a perfect circle right off the bat, and very few people do. So I'm just going to draw this. I'm gonna do this over and over and over again, about maybe 10 times. Okay, and so that's the circle for his face. Okay, so that's all we need to do right now for his face. And um, we also saw two more circles in his face. So let's draw those. Those would be his ears. We have a circle here and a circle here. And they're pretty big, but they're not as big as the face circle. So I'm going to draw those ears right up in this area, one here and one here. Okay, in these upper quarters of the cross. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a circle like this, kind of big. I'm just going to go lightly sketch lines, light sketch lines over and over and over again. And then right next to it, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to try to make those circles the same size because those are his ears. They should be about the same size. Okay, so that's pretty good. I like the way those circles are looking. How about you? Okay, so now it's your turn to do this. You want to draw first your guidelines, a slanted cross like that. Then you want to draw the big face circle and you want to draw the smaller ear circles. Okay, so we will pause here for a minute and let you do that work. And we'll be right back.
Hi, we're back. Well, I hope you got those circles drawn. I bet you did. Okay, well now we're going to start on the lower part of Mickey's face. And that would be this part here, which is the mouth, the, the uh, cheek area, chin area, and the nose and the mouth. Okay, so we will start on that. Right away, can you see a shape here? Look at this shape. Does it look kind of like a bowl to you? Yeah, I've seen bowls that look like that. So that's what we're going to draw to start to draw the lower part of the face. So let's take our drawing that we have already. Here I have my, my Mickey Mouse, the ears, and the large face here, the face. So now to draw the bowl, I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to draw a line across like that okay and then I'm just going to draw a bowl shape the outside of a bowl shape just like that just kind of following the line of the circle that's already there so here I have this line here and I'm going to curve the edges here, kind of make them round, kind of like a C or a U shape. And here I have like a C or a U shape on this side too. Okay. Okay, so this kind of is his cheek area and in where his mouth is going to go. So now we, we talked about ovals earlier. So now the nose is really... Um, a nice oval shape and we're gonna put that nose right about here so I'm just gonna make a long type circle oval shape for the nose so we'll make that okay not too bad not too bad now for the mouth the mouth is kind of simple we just follow the bottom line of the face here only up just a little bit higher so we're just gonna follow this line like this just like that yeah and then what we do is put like a little c or u yeah uh a backward c at the end of the mouth looks like he's smiling that way we can also put a u shape here and that kind of looks like that'll be his tongue. That'll be his tongue. That he, you see part of his mouth opening there. And that's his tongue. Okay. So there we have the bottom part of Mickey's face. Okay, so now I want you guys to do that. So now, now is your turn to do that. I'm going to give you about a minute and a half to do that. And of course, Ava, you will see Ava do that and help you with that. Okay, see you in a bit.
Okay, we're back again. So this time we'll finish up uh, the eyes, Mickey's eyes, and then we'll put in some uh, harder lines in here and erase some of the sketch lines and guidelines. And that will be pretty much it to drawing Mickey. Okay, so we talked about the ovals before and Mickey has a lot of ovals, well, several major ovals in his face. These are the, the larger part of the eye is a big oval here. Uh, the other eye is right there overlapping. So those two ovals are pretty large and they are overlapping in the center here, center guideline. And then we have two smaller ovals which are actually the actual eyes mickey's eyes okay these up here are just circles where his pupils are so we're going to start to draw those in okay so i have my drawing from before so where i'm going to put the large ovals the outer part of the eye I'm going to start the outer part of the eye right about here in the cross. So it's going to cross over the front, the middle guideline there. It's going to go down, kind of touching the nose. And don't worry about that line because we'll erase it. Just want to get that oval shape in there. Just lightly draw several times and you'll have a pretty good oval. So the other larger part of the eye is the same thing. We're going to put it on the other side of the face with the same spacing. And so we're doing this. We're making these kinds of oval again. Crosses over the middle guideline goes down and touches the nose, goes up here in this area of the cross guideline. Okay, so we have that right there. What I'm going to do to make it a little more clear here is erase, take my eraser and erase this line here and then erase this other line here on the other side of the middle guideline. Just because it'll be easier to see where to put the smaller eyes. Okay, so Mickey's smaller eyes just go inside the big eye. So his smaller eye goes like this and just barely touches the middle guideline. So there's a smaller eye, it's an oval Again, so just go round and round and round again very lightly when you draw and then make another one exactly like that on the other side same size just go lightly round and round and round making a nice shaped oval just like that then to make the pupil just make a little circle up here and then you have a nice circle where his pupils his pupils will be right there okay so we have pretty much all the features of Mickey Mouse here we have the eyes the small eyes the big eyes the nose the mouth the chin down here the cheeks the ears. <coughs> My dogs are anxious to help you draw the last part. Okay, so what we want to do on these sketch lines, since there's so many of the sketch lines, what we want to do is draw a harder line, press down a little bit harder around in the area of the sketch lines where we think the circle looks the best. For instance, in the face area, I see several lines here, but I think that my face circle is going to be about here. So I'm just going to put my face circle in a nice area there. 
Okay, so that's good. And then the same with the ears. I'm going to pick an area here where a line here where I can draw where I can draw uh, the ears. So I will go right in here. Okay, Skitch, come on up. He wants to watch me draw this. Yeah, because that's how he's going to learn how to draw. He's going to do that for you in just a second. So here I'm choosing a line right here. Okay, so that's one ear. And then here I'm going to pick a, a, a line kind of in between all these other sketch lines. And this kind of gives me an idea of a nice circle there. Okay, so don't worry about those other sketch lines yet. What we want to do is just kind of outline the features. So let's outline the eye here. And this other one just like that. That was the outer eye. Let's do the inner eye. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And now our mouth line or our uh, cheek line will go across like that. And so we're just kind of pressing a little bit harder this time in case you hadn't before. Same with the nose. Press a little harder. With the mouth, you can press harder. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's pretty good. Now take your eraser. You see all the sketch lines around there? Just go around and clean it up. So you can erase the sketch lines. You can erase the guideline. Sometimes they're not very easy to erase. Yeah, and if you erase the the harder line, you can just redraw it again. So some of these are a little tricky to get cleaned up. Takes a little while to do this because it, it took you a while to draw it. There's Skitch again. He is so interested in drawing. He just really wants to learn. Don't you, Skitch? Yeah. He's quite a good artist, too. As you will see in the next, next frame here. Okay, we're almost done. Skitch, don't block the camera. Because the, the students want to see. They want to see what we're doing. We're erasing. Yeah. We're erasing all those little sketch lines that we did. And by the way, almost all artists, when they draw, they, they use some kind of sketch line or guideline because very few artists can just draw perfectly right off the bat without drawing some kind of a helping line, sketch line or guideline. So you can just go over some of these lines that might have gotten erased you know, like that. And, um, oops. So some of those lines, yeah, we can clean them up a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop here and let Skitch help you draw this last part. And then we'll meet up again in just a little bit.
Thank you students for drawing with me today, drawing Mickey Mouse. We have a lot of fun doing that. It's not that hard and we could do it. So one thing I wanted to mention um, is that you can color your drawing if you'd like. If not, that's fine too. If you want to color your drawing, Mickey Mouse is in black and white, the original image but you can also um, use it any color you want. You can be creative. Um, so here, what I do is I would just take a uh, black pencil or a marker, or this is a charcoal pencil, and you know, just color in the nose, something like that. Yeah, so you can color that in. You can color in the ears, that kind of thing. So if you would like to do that, that would be great. That would be fun. It would be neat looking. Okay, so someday I would love to see your drawings of Mickey Mouse. And I'm sure they are so beautiful because you guys are great artists and you can do the world a great favor by showing them, show everybody your wonderful art, your unique art that you do is the best art we have. So we want to see that. It will make everyone a lot happier. Okay, so until next time, take care of yourselves and keep drawing.